Hello guys, welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel or the Forensics Unplugged channel. Do not forget to subscribe and join us on Patreon and Instagram and Facebook. Um, self-cleaning, self-cleaning. Have you ever seen self-cleaning in action? What is self-cleaning? So some of you might be saying, and, and this is with regards to ceramic coating. Sorry, let me just get that right. Or, or detailing protection products in general, self-cleaning. Now, some of you might be saying, when I've had a ceramic coating put on my car, I've noticed when I go to clean the car, it's kind of easier to clean. The hydrophobic effect makes it easier to dry. The dirt film comes off more in the pressure washer. The wheels, when they're coated, are easier to clean. The plastic trims are easier to clean. And... My answer to that is possibly, yeah, possibly. But the word self-cleaning implies, doesn't it, to me that the product cleans itself a little bit. So if you've got a ceramic material on there, you know, the dirt that falls on it and then you'll get some rain hitting the car and that surface will clean itself without you having to do anything. Now, obviously not perfectly, but that's what self-cleaning implies to me. Um, now, as part of my... Um, I've got loads of videos on the go at the moment, and one of them I'm testing out ceramic wheel coatings. So I've got Gion, oh Jesus, Gion Rim, G Technic C5, Carbon Collective Platinum Wheels, and Car Pro Deluxe or Deluxe. Uh, and I've got one on each wheel here, and then I've flipped the the positioning around on the car outside so that they all get a go at the front because you get more more road dust you know you get more brake dust on the front don't you so i can observe them all on two different cars which is cool i've also got the products on a forensics patented test panel <laughs> a forensics test panel in sections and this is what i just want to look at and if i just take this torch this gopro is not the best at kind of zooming in on on dirt but you can see these panels are not great condition but what you can see really and i know this is a really simple observation but there is no visible there's there's lines down here where there's no product where it was masked up when i put it in there is no difference between any of these squares really on the amount of dirt that is sitting on there they're all just identical you don't see oh the car pro one is cleaner or the geo one's cleaner they're all exactly identical and the areas where there's no ceramic um coating there's no material are also identical so i know this is very simplified but on my test plate these products are not showing me any ability to stay cleaner than an unprotected panel and i thought i'd just state that it's interesting because it opens up a discussion. Um, now what I'm going to do is just rinse, rinse these down and stop the camera and see if the dirt comes off of the areas where the ceramic coating is easier than where it isn't. It's just low pressure water. Interestingly, totally buried, aren't they? Totally buried. Little spots. I don't know what they are. They're little bits of aphid poo or something. Anyway, I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'll come back in about half an hour or an hour and we'll talk. Okay, back about 10 minutes later. Panel is dry. This is what it looks like after rinsing. Let's grab this. So really, 
it's rinsing it off. See the gaps where there's no product and there's product. There's no different. There's no difference. So a very, I know this is very superficial. And this is a very kind of informal just look, but I'm just making a point that really, after five years of looking at all these kind of products in depth, you know, and really testing everything up against each other, I've come to the sort of conclusion there's benefits to ceramic coatings and these latest SiO2 materials, less with the SiO2 materials maybe, but the ceramic coatings, and the main thing is they just rock hard and they bond and they last for a long, long time. Um, when they are freshly applied, you get that buzz, you get that zing, that that fresh beading. But like after a couple of months of it being outside, that beading, you know, that buzzing zing, you lose that zing. And I'll wash. And I'm going to go to the next step now, which is to wash this panel back. Then when you clean it back, you'll start to see the hydrophobicity come through. But you lose the zing, the zing, and you can never get the zing back. <laughs> And so it's like this with any car protection product. You want, we all want that permanent zing, that fresh sort of like repellency that you get when you kind of freshly apply a product. And the company, the first company that can come up with a product which the zing doesn't deteriorate will be onto a winner because that's what happens with these car products. So let's wash this back. I'm going to use Surfex HD, which is a nice cleaner you know water-based degreaser rinsable so there won't be anything left behind on the panel and we'll just i've got some out there actually so we'll just take our brush use a little microfiber we'll just use a brush let's i'll film this while you're here Oh, more shield, hold on. I wonder. Not worried about the swirly swirlies, don't panic. <laughs> well, let's see how the hydrophobicity, let's put it up at an angle. So you can see after we've made contact with the brush and the detergent and rinsed that off, the true nature of the material that we've laid down is on display again. And you can see a bit of difference in performance on those products, which is not 
the point of this video. Um, we'll talk about that when we actually get round to doing the review for these ceramic coatings. And this is the reason with ceramics and some other products that I'll do these long-term videos because if I don't do them, you know, if I, I can buy these products and kind of do the review on the same day, but you, you, the, you know, I can make it sound credible, just as many people will watch it. You know, that's just all determined by how I title the video, how many people watch it. So if I ham it up a bit in the title, you know, more people watch it. So spending six months doing these testing, if you like, is, I'm only doing it so I can give you good information, which is what I try and do on the channel. Um, and my opinion on the products can change from some of the testing I do with the application and initial water beh behavior and stuff like that and gloss readings. My, my opinion can change when I actually see how the products behave when I've got them on the car and when I've got them long term on the test panel. So we put the work in, Is uh, you know, I'll blow me own trumpet. We do put the work in um, on some of these um, tests and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I think hopefully that's part of all I can offer you as a channel. Anyway, get on with it because the point of this video is to talk about self-cleaning. If there is self-cleaning from ceramic coatings, I'll say this, it's quite subtle. And going back to the point I made earlier on, you tend to notice it when they're freshly applied. And then, you know, three, four, five, six months later in the coating's life, they're still there, the coatings are there. Some of these coatings, you put them down and they will be on the car for years, that material. It's just, they're good in that sense, but the benefits seem to kind of deteriorate they're at their maximum immediately after you've applied it and they deteriorate and after six months it can get a little bit hard to see the real practical or pragmatic benefits and i think that's part of the reason some of these coaching packages get you to go back to the place you had it installed and we'll go over them with a sio2 water-based product so you get that pop again and then the next time you're washing your car you've got that pop you can see all the repellency and you're like yeah, these ceramics are good, you know, but it's not quite that clear cut. It's all about water repellency, isn't it? <laughs> all goes back to this, the old beading thing, the old beading argument. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on self-cleaning. Try and keep the comments based on self-cleaning, if you like, and you can deviate into ceramics a little bit. Um, have you ever witnessed self-cleaning? The only non-ceramic um, product where I think I've seen signs of self-cleaning our Gion wet coat and that's just based on how when I've had it on a test panel with lots of other products like a bit like out there all of them get, got buried apart from the, the wet coat square which was still repelling even though it isn't the most durable or repellent of all of the products it doesn't get buried as easily so I think it does have some self-cleaning so it's little subtle things like that thanks for watching guys quick video on self-cleaning see you soon take care